Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do an oil change on your first generation Acura or Honda NSX 1991 through 2005 model years. First of all, we're gonna start on the left with the oil. Uh, the vehicle requires 10W30 or 530 depending on your climate, but you're gonna need four and a half quarts of oil. I'm using Castrol Edge fully synthetic uh, motor oil. And then you're also gonna need an oil filter wrench or something to remove the oil filter with. This is my, my uh, wrench of choice. And then of course, a 17 millimeter wrench or socket wrench to remove the drain bolt. A torque wrench capable of 33 foot pounds to torque your uh, engine oil drain bolt back on. And of course, a brand new washer uh, you can get this from Honda or you can go to your auto parts, auto parts store. Uh, it's recommended to replace the, replace these crush washers um, every time you change your oil. And this is a, a oil filter funnel uh, for when you want to um, fill up your engine with oil. This is a special thread in type for Hondas made by Ossenmacher Specialty Tools. Um, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if this is available anymore, but you can buy uh, similar types online. And of course, your oil drain pan and your oil filter of choice. I'm using a Nippon Micro oil filter. I got this from Mita Motorsports. Uh, this just happens to be a long version, just like the what came with the car originally. But the original, the um, short type that, the, that Acura and Honda sells now is perfectly fine. This is just what I have on, on hand right now. And of course, this is a flexible funnel. And so what we're gonna use this for is to protect the lower um, brace from getting oil in it. So when you remove the oil filter, oil usually drips and gets all over the brace. I'll show it to you guys later, but this is gonna help us keep that clean. So that's it, let's get started. All right, so we're over here in the passenger wheel well, and we're looking at the oil filter clearly. And the first two steps I like to always do before I do, before I fully drain the oil is, make sure uh, I can loosen the oil filter and then it comes off and make sure that you can take off the drain bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna loosen it. I'm not gonna fully remove it. It's coming off, no problem. So I know that's, I know that's good to go. Okay, now we're looking at the oil drain bolt. And so this is again a 17 millimeter. And I'm gonna go ahead, since I already made sure I can loosen the oil filter, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this. Of course, make sure your oil drain pan is here. And keep an eye on your washer. Make sure you know where it is. So you don't want it to get you stuck on the oil pan. So here's my washer. Okay, with the oil fully drained, we're going to put the new washer on our drain bolt. This is a spoon magnetic drain bolt, just in case you're wondering. Give this a quick wipe. Throw the oil bolt on. Remove any residual oil. Then get your torque wrench and set it to 33 foot-pounds. All right, now we're time to move on to the filter. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at what we're working with. So this brace right here, you can see it's all dirty. That's because when you remove this oil filter, all the oil likes to just drip directly down onto this brace and cruise all the way down this whole area. And a lot of times it can actually make you miss your oil pan because if you, you'll position your oil pan under this spot, then oil will travel down here and then oil might come out on this end. So what we're gonna do with that flexible oil funnel is two things. Well, first we're gonna put position our oil pan right below it. And we're gonna grab our flexible oil funnel. You can do it however way you want. You can just wrap this funnel 
like a U-shape over this arm if you want. What I'm gonna do is I flattened out one end. All right, as you can see, it's working pretty well. So I ended up changing the position since last time I talked to you, I changed it into like a Z shape or a, a S shape kind of, um, so it can sit in place better. All right, this is my first time using this flexible oil filter, oil funnel, so it didn't go as planned, but I'll be better prepared next time. So I'll give you guys some tips. Basically, you gotta get it in here where it's wedged in between the oil pan and the, the lower brace. That way it won't slip off. All right, real quick guys, now that I have the tall oil filter on, um, the way I put the flexible filter on before probably wouldn't fit there because there's less clearance with the tall filter now. So I come up with this idea for Everyone it should work for everyone, whether you have a tall or short filter. Wrapping the um, flexible filter in a U shape, essentially. And that way, um, I'm wrap putting one end underneath the lip of the oil pan. So here's a better view from the rear of the car. So this side is wrapped underneath the lip of the oil pan. It has a U shape for to make clearance for the filter. And it's gonna wrap over this control arm down here so it's very sturdy it's not going anywhere and if you tilt it a little bit um, the oil will come down this side and you can just put your filter, your oil pan right here and it should come out this side only and and avoid avoid this brace here's another view all right so next guys you're going to want to grab your new oil filter Take off the plastic if it has some plastic on it and you're going to want to oil this ring right here so it can screw on smoothly. So grab, uh, dunk your finger in some fresh oil. And I, I like to pre-fill this oil filter also since it is it does go on, on an upward position. It, you can easily pre-fill this. So, the point of that is, so when you start your engine at the first time, um, you don't have a delay in oil pressure um, when it tries to fill this oil filter before filling, um, you know, pressurizing oil throughout your engine. So, um, in order, if you fill this oil, it'll it'll bypass that and allow you to get oil pressure a lot sooner. Next step is you're gonna want to clean this bottom surface, the surface that your O-ring on your oil filter is going to contact. You want to make sure that it's clear of debris and clean in general. Okay, here we have the new filter installed. The oil filter has a torque spec of 15 to 18 foot pounds. I don't have a torque wrench for a filter, so I'm just going to tighten it on nice and tight by hand. Okay. Okay guys, so before we move on to filling the engine with oil, you want to do your final checks. Make sure your drain bolt is torqued on. Make sure your filter is tightened on. And then you're ready to fill up the engine with oil. All right, I have my thread in oil funnel. And so this whole jug is five quarts and we need four and a half quarts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour almost everything in and then check it, with, or check it with a dipstick. All right guys, we're going to check the oil level and top it off as needed. Should have to top it off about half a quart. You can see there it's right about halfway through the middle of these two dots. And that's right about where I thought it would be, about half a quart between these two dots is one full quart. So we perfectly halfway through is, means, means I need half a quart more. So I'm gonna wait for that oil to drain down and I'm gonna check the dipstick. 
and jack check dipstick. You can see it's right at the upper dot, so we're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.